my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and today we're gonna talk about trash here at Coffee Break with Danny. So the funny thing is, I was replying to all your comments this morning, and someone said, Danny, it's been exactly five months since you did an empties. You're overdue. What the heck, man? And let me tell you, true crime is occurring here at this house. Okay, let me tell you. A massive offense committed by the P. So when we redid the background, thank you so much for all the love, by the way. So many of you guys have been completely in love with this background. You're tweeting about it, you're giving us compliments. It was one of the best things I think that we have done for, I don't know, this new season of Coffee Break with Danny. Um, it's just, it's, doesn't it just feel better to be here? <laughs> Seeing these little nuggets in the background. Um, so when we were doing the total makeover, I mean, we moved everything to the center of the room, we painted, we hung the shelves, and along that hustle and bustle, we threw away my empties. My bin was overflowing, it was full, so we basically lost an entire quarter of empties. So this is not an updated empties from the previous empties, this is just kind of like a reset button from October maybe so from October to god this is just gonna make me look even worse because it hasn't been that long from October to December all right so let's take our judgments put them in our little purse put the purse in our pocket and engage the judgment free zone okay can we just can we do that because you're gonna see how product heavy I am and um maybe Judge me a little bit. Um, I got a new empties bin, or rather, this was a bin I had in a closet and I thought it was prettier than a trash can. So I was like, hey, this might make me feel better about collecting trash. <laughs> there you go. That's a good sneak a peek for you guys. So let's just jump right in. Maybe I could just put it on its side. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, oh. I'm scared. Oh, okay. Wow. This is mildly embarrassing. So the first thing that fell out of my trash can is the Lumi deodorant and odor shield. So, okay, I didn't talk about this in my um, non-toxic deodorant journey video where I reviewed 12 all natural deodorants for you guys. A lot of you guys told me about this in the comments, so I ordered it and it works. So if I were to say your number one aluminum free, baking soda free, 100% natural, non-toxic, best actually works deodorant of all the ones you've ever tried, Danny, which is the best one? I would say it's this one. Did I finish this container? Absolutely not. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm a very sensory, um, very sensory driven person. So I need to touch things. I need to smell things. When I was little, my mom would bonk me on the head every time we'd eat because it doesn't matter if I was at a restaurant, if I was at her house, at my aunt's house or anywhere, I'd always smell my food first. So when it comes to, to, to senses, whether it's, it's smelling, tasting, feeling, I'm very, I don't know, everything's like a new experience for me. With this one, it just feels like, almost like it creates a barrier and like my armpit can't breathe. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but after using Secret Clinical Strength for like 10 years and that buildup of, it felt like a, I don't know, it felt like it was an actual barrier from using Clinical Strength and then going to all these free, all natural deodorants and just feeling your armpit breathe and then using this again, I just, I didn't like the sensation. So if you want an all natural alternative that actually works and is a barrier for sweat and for stink and all that stuff, this is a really good one and it comes in different scents. My friend Sam uses it, a lot of people use it um, because they say they get under boob sweat. I don't even have an under boob. <laughs> I can't attest to that. Some people actually use it as like a feminine area, anti-moisture kind of barrier. So it works, but I just couldn't get behind that sensation. I know, I should have put that in my misses. I put it in the wrong bin. I just, 
sorry. <laughs> I'll link my misses down below. The body wash that came in my FabFitFun, this is the Cuccio Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean Body Wash. I started to use this right after my explant and I really, really liked it. When I saw the retail price for it, I was like, okay, I didn't like it that much. <laughs> when it came in my $49.99 FabFitFun, oh, I'll use it. But when I have to pay full price for this, I was like, Gina, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's not gonna happen. The bottle is so little too. Plus if you see how much body wash I go through you guys, I can't justify getting that like $50 body wash. Let me show you. All right, come through Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I love this stuff, not only because it smells amazing, like boom boom cream, but I also love it because it's a really creamy emollient body wash that you could use as bubble bath and you could even use as shaving cream. Do I waste this precious commodity on that? No, I just use it as a body wash, but God, you smell your skin after you shower and you're like, God, I smell good. You know what I mean? And it doesn't cost like $60. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm a little, all right, let me just knock this out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Oh, thank God. If there was going to be a six, I was going to be very worried. So in here, I have three shampoos and two conditioners, which is generally how it happens. I use a ton more shampoo than conditioner. My hair is a little silly when it comes to conditioner. It doesn't really appreciate it that much. In fact, I could go through not using conditioner and it'd be okay. Um, but shampoo, girl, it loves its shampoo. And this one, I told you guys in a recent Briogeo video, don't remember the content of that video specifically, but I was telling you how the um, green apple matcha superfood shampoo and conditioner were my holy grail. And then this sucker came out and I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> green apple what? I was like, green, green juice what? Superfood what? I don't, do you exist? Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys. And then this, this is going to sound stupid, but if you're very producty like I am and you really like, like families of scents, these two together smell really good. <laughs> They're all in the family. Okay, you're judging me right now and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Speaking of Briogeo, um, I posted my manicure video this week. And in that manicure video, I said, hey, listen, you guys, I can only attest for myself in the use of supplements, but biotin is where it's at. So Briogeo um, has a biotin supplement. These are my three empty bottles. This is three months worth of supplements. So I use one of these per month. And basically, um, it is a vegan omega-3 um, omega and biotin supplement. So um, a couple of things on this supplement. I was asked, how long have I been taking uh, biotin? Um, if I've noticed a difference and you didn't tell me that it stunk and this pill smells awful and I just can't, I can't stand it. So here's what I have to say about this. The first thing is um, I've taken biotin off and on for about seven years now. Um, I am a firm believer. It doesn't give you new growth. It only promotes quicker growth. So um, if I stop taking biotin, my hair and my nails grow a lot slower. When I take it, it grows a lot faster. A lot of you also commented that, is it because I had explant surgery? With explant surgery, I've noticed two things. Not quicker hair growth, but I have noticed new hair growth on spots where I was balding, and my hair is a lot shinier. So that's what I've noticed with explant. With biotin, it's just the length and the thickness. Oh my God, it grows so quickly. I did get a comment that said, why didn't you tell me these stunk? They smell so bad. And now that you mention it, I was like, man, I've never noticed because I just take them and I swallow them. I don't actually taste them or smell them. You know, I just, it happens in a matter of seconds that I don't really notice. But if you do pay attention to the scent, um, it has a very organic smell to it. I did a video in collaboration with Briogeo. So if you're like, oh my God, Danny's a nut and she's a total creeper stalker. They did give me a promo code. This video is not sponsored. I don't make commission off 
commission. I <laughs> don't make commission off the use of the promo code. Um, it still works. So if you guys want to try the biotin supplement or their shampoos and conditioners, I'll leave it in the description box below. Let's talk about armpits. I have a native deodorant coconut vanilla. This is my go-to deodorant recently. When I go in with the thyers, uh, which hazel as in, um, toner under my arms and then I go in with this deodorant I hardly ever have to reapply at the end of the day and usually I shower at the end of the day so I just reapply anyway anyway long story short is my go-to green deodorant recently has been this one I just really love the coconut vanilla scent I find it very um soothing very calming it again goes with the scent of all of the products that I use in my day-to-day -day routine so it just everything just kind of goes together you know but these two in combo, if you're having trouble transferring or starting to use um, green deodorants, start using a witch hazel toner first. And it really does help kind of um, balance um, the pH of this zone and just gives you like a neutral base and it gives your deodorant a really fair, fresh start. I am a little um, confused why I only have one of these, but I think it might be because we tossed that entire bucket of empties um, when I was redoing my office, but the Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser, um, if you guys struggle with back knee, if you struggle with back knee, I'm going to link a video in the description box below where I talk about it in detail, um, where I use this product in conjunction with a back loofah from Amazon. It's a two pack for like $8. It has completely removed, gotten rid of, and kept at bay all of the back knee that I struggled with. It was disgusting, you guys. It was awful. It was My, my back was dirty, covered in blackheads, some painful um, acne as well. And after I started using this one, it, it's just gone. It's completely gone. You have to be aggressive with your scrubbing, and you do have to make sure that you change out your loofahs, you know, every month or two. Um, but this product is amazing. They do have a body version of this one, but the salicylic acid percent is lower. So I just use the one that's for your face. Higher salicylic acid, and it goes on sale often. During Cyber Monday, it was 50% off, so I may have bought six. Whatever. Judgment-free zone, you guys. Judgment-free zone. All right. Two dry shampoos. We have Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar and Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. These are two of my favorites. I tend to justify the price of these two shampoos, dry shampoos. I really shouldn't because Batiste works just as good and it's like $6, maybe even cheaper at like TJ Maxx. I just really like these. This is my favorite. Like it just, it works. This one smells delicious. Amika needs to bottle their scent of their hair products and put it in a perfume. Speaking of perfume and expensive, this is Jo Malone uh, Wild Bluebell Cologne. Uh, these are called colognes. They explained it to me at Nordstrom why. Um, I don't know. It smells really good. I can tell you that. It doesn't last that long. The change, the, the scent changed from being in my empties bucket. That is so bizarre. Anyway, it smells really good. Um, the older I get, the harder and harder I find it to justify purchasing a fragrance like this one because I find myself having to reapply. Like the scent almost wears away. And for $120, I'm like, I kind of like my $18 perfume from Urban Outfitters a little bit more. And then now that I'm trying the 1111, um, you guys, 1111, that perfume, I'm going to link it down below. You guys can do your own research on it. Sweet baby Jesus, it smells so good. But again, it's, an, it's a really expensive perfume. It is, though, a green brand, so there's a plus side to it. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's focus. My favorite nail polish remover, I told you guys I recently did my manicure video, how I paint my nails. I didn't mention what nail polish remover I used and a lot of you were like, well, how do you take off your polish? My bad. This is my favorite nail polish remover. It's 100% acetone from Target. It's very cheap. It works. It's effective. I don't like the non-acetone nail polish remover. It's like way too much work. It leaves my nail beds slippery and like no nail products stick to it. So I just go in straight with acetone, wash my hands, and then apply everything else, you know? 
Okay, um, Pharmacy Green Clean. This is my favorite cleansing balm. I love that it's not greasy. A lot of cleansing balms turn into almost like an oil and they melt off your makeup, but then when you go in to rinse it, it still leaves that oily residue. This one doesn't leave that oily residue. It turns into sort of like a milk and then just comes off your face. There is, that was, this one, just turns into like a white milky like liquid or something when you rinse it off obviously you still have to do a double cleanse and go in with your favorite cleanser but it doesn't have that oily residue in it which is so confusing to me with some cleansing balms um speaking of cleansers I have one in here um, this is from holy frog we talked about it in detail um, in my Mrs. video. So Holy Frog is a new brand that just recently launched. So the concept of Holy Frog is we don't have the same day every day. So our skin today might be dry. Tomorrow it might have a breakout. The next day it might be very oily and residue-y. So we shouldn't have a one size fits all cleanser for our life. Now, to me, that sounded a little bit like a money grab as a consumer, but it also sounded a little bit brilliant from like a reviewer um, because I was like, oh, hey, that is genius. That is so valid. Um, but it's like, well, how many cleansers do you have? So I actually tried all three of the products from this line. So you have your everyday cleanser, you have your brightening acid cleanser, and then you have your milky dry skin cleanser. Two of the three were misses for me. This is the only one that I liked and I really liked it. I mean, I was in there trying to get the last little bit of cleanser out of it. I really, really liked it. These are based on pH. So I don't know if you guys can tell back here, but this is a pH of 5.5. I actually wrote in Sharpie on them um, so that I would remember which is for what. Um, and this is the only one that I liked. So I'm like, hmm, could we somehow figure out our very own cleanser menu. So it doesn't have to be the same brand. It could be different brands, but this is the one I use when my skin is dry. This is the one that I use when my skin feels extra dirty. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a brilliant concept. But then I also thought, would you be pissing off your skin? Because my face gets pissed off at me sometimes when I do too many masks. It's like, uh-uh leave me alone stop touching me for a second you guys always tell me stop touching your face in your vlogs i don't know it's like a compulsion i have speaking of masking and touching my face purity made simple pore extractor this is one of the products that i'm going to cry about um, not being able to use since going cruelty free if you guys are looking for a great mud mask that actually yields results and is amazing sweet baby jesus this masks from from masks this mask from philosophy is so good and i'm gonna miss you so much as a um spot treatment so good as a deep cleansing pore as a deep pore cleansing mask so good as a section mask where like you just put a little bit on your chin or a little bit on your forehead so good this product i'm really i'm really gonna miss it cotton cotton do we need to talk about this it's in every one of my videos it's probably not going to come up that often since buying reusable cotton rounds from amazon they're bamboo and they're amazing but we have to finish off what we have and this is this is what we have i think i still have one more bag to go through but i'm like do i just hold on to it forever do i keep using my amazon ones like what how do I work this out? I have to get through it. So eventually you'll see another bag of these. But other than that, I don't think you'll see it very often. Um, a body oil that I super love. I actually don't know if this is cruelty free. I, it's probably not and I probably can't use it anymore. But this is the Ahava Dead Sea Plants Dry Oil and Body Mist. This is awesome. When I get out of the shower, I like spray it on me and then just like rub it in. And it's like instead of using a body cream or a body lotion, especially at the end of the day where I'm super tired and I don't want to do the cardio and the calorie burning of applying body cream to six feet of me, <laughs> this product is awesome. Plus, it smells really good, but the automizer broke and I can't use the last little bit of it. So that kind of breaks my heart. We're almost done, you guys. Speaking of rubbing all over my six feet of body, pistache. You guys, all my Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom containers, all of them are gone. All of them. 
There's usually like 42 canisters of their Boom Boom Cream in here, but this is the Pistache Body Butter. Um, I usually just order mine on Amazon. So good. It's like my second favorite after the Boom Boom Cream. Can't believe we lost our whole bucket of empties. This video probably would have been three times as long, so maybe it's a good thing that it happened. Another product that we have in here is the uh, Liquid Blender Cleanser from um, Beauty Blender. I bought this when it was on sale. Um, it's not like life changing, you know, the Castile soap, Dr. Bronner's, whatever, it works the same and it's the bottle's bigger and it costs less and it probably smells better. Um, toner for my face. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads are so good. I love these because some days I barely have enough energy to walk myself to the bathroom to go pee by myself, let alone do an entire skincare routine. So when I can have pads that are pre-soaked and already saturated in a toner that's going to balance my pH, it's also going to exfoliate and it's also going to leave my skin feeling refreshed, I'm like, don't mind if I do exfoliate, tone, and brighten all in one. I love the little size too because with this empty container, I can actually put pads in here when I go out of town and I have a cool little container. But I normally get the big jug. The It's like this chubby. It's maybe like, like that, maybe like, like this. This is probably closer to the size that it is. Anyway, these are awesome. So if you're like one of those no fuss, no muss, low maintenance skincare routines and you want to exfoliate, brighten and tone all at the same time, love these pads. Since I already showed you guys these or this, this is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whip Cream. Um, I love the packaging of Drunk Elephant. I love the formulation of their skincare and I love this product for winter. It is so thick, so emollient, it's so soothing on the skin. There are some days in the winter where my skin is like, don't touch me, you know what I mean? Like it's just so sensitive. It's super cold outside and then you're coming inside where the heater's on and it's super dry. I don't, you know, I don't imagine most of you guys are running humidifiers in every room of your house. So your skin is just, pissed off all the time. This is one of those products that feels like a hug for the skin. Plus the um, dispenser on this little guy is super cool because you don't like stick your fingers in the entire container. It's um, like suction based. So all the moisturizer starts coming up to the top. And once you run out, you open it and it is empty in there, like completely, completely empty. It's awesome. A couple of randos left behind. My favorite br uh, brow gel ever. Why can't I talk? Probably because I'm sick. This is the Tarteist um, brow gel from Tarte. It's kind of awesome. It's my favorite. It's like $19, but I really love it. You know how there's some products where you're like, oh, that is just unreasonably overpriced, but I can't stop loving you. That's kind of how I feel about a lot of these products that are in front of me right now. <laughs> This product, you guys are gonna have to help me out in the comment section below. This is my favorite eye makeup remover. It's from Pons. It is a Mexican product. You can only get it in Mexico. It's the Bio Hidratante Desmaquillante. It is a bi-phase um, eye makeup remover. It's the best one ever. Supposedly Pons went cruelty-free this year. Does that apply to previous products? Because my mom ships me this from California and I have like eight bottles left. I'm obviously going to use them. However, I don't or I wouldn't feel comfortable continuing to talk about it on my social media if it's a product that isn't actually cruelty free. So I'd have to kind of be using it on the DL, if you know what I'm saying, just to prevent waste, obviously. But you'll have to let me know if it actually has, if it actually is cruelty free. I think it is, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, if you guys are able to grab this, you know anyone going to Mexico, if you're crossing the border for whatever reason, stop at a supermarket and get this, you guys. It's gonna change your life. Then, speaking of changing your life, Pistache, their hand cream, so good, you guys, so good, especially in the winter. I don't like hand cream that tells me how to live my life. Have you guys ever tried a hand cream where you put it on and then you're handicapped for the next two hours because you can't do anything because everything falls out of your hands? That's the worst, like I can't, no. Don't impair my life, 
make my life easy, and don't give me dry, cracky hands. So can you do that? Then I need you in my life. That's what this one does. It has like vitamin E, essential oils, and so it almost provides like a layer or a coat of moisturizer on your skin, but it doesn't stop you from living and functioning your day-to-day -day life. I'm about to say a really big statement. It is a big one, but I need you guys to remember it. My favorite brow pencil ever is $3. You guys give me so much crap about liking fancy things, and it's true, I do, I do like fancy things. Like the double, I'm sorry, the double, I'm sorry, wait, the double. <laughs> This mirror reflection business is very confusing. Um, I do, I, I, have, I have an inclination towards fancier products, it's true. However, my favorite brow pencil is $3. It's from e.l.f. and it's in the shade taupe. And this is what it looks like. So the next time you're at CVS, Rite Aid, um, Ulta, pick it up, I promise you won't regret it. I am a brunette, you can tell, but I use the shade taupe. I'm not actually using this today, I'm just using a tinted brow gel for this makeup look, um, but this brow pencil is awesome. The last product that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this. And this, I'm a little salty about it because it was changed. They changed the product and now it's not the same. So this is a facial sponge, an exfoliating facial sponge from Equate. The, um, it's like the up and up version brand of um, Walmart. So their store brand. It used to come in a two pack. It was a clear pack with like lavender and turquoise on it. They changed it and now it comes in a pack like this. And it is not the same product at all. So it was like they took this and separate it into a very, very gentle version and a very, very aggressive version. This one would lie somewhere in the middle. So it doesn't have the same effect. I'm very devastated because this is the reason why I have really, really clear pores. Cause I scrub my face in the shower with this thing and now I can't replace it. It doesn't even compare to these. I'm using this, like I'm toughing it out and I'm using these. I have these in my shower right now, but man, this one hurts and this one doesn't do anything. This one feels like I'm like scrubbing my face with puppy tongues, you know what I mean? So if you guys can still find these, grab them up. They're so good. You don't need a Clarisonic, you don't need a Foreo. Hey, I'm a firm believer in the Foreo. I love it and I use it, but this, Nothing ever, ever, ever replaces this little $2 sponge. It is so good. See, we just went from talking about $100 perfume to like a $3 sponge, you guys. You're welcome. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this empties. I'm so sorry that it was overdue, and I'm more sorry that I threw away all my other empties. I failed at life, you guys. I failed, but out of that failure came this beautiful background, so... You know, you take some, you win some, you lose some. This is one of those situations where we did both. So that's kind of awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a post and you don't miss my dogs. Um, I will list and link all of these products in the description box below because they are some of my favorites. I love them. Some of them are expensive, but some of them are $3, you guys. Okay, we win some, we lose some. Step ladder, like these are all merch ideas of stuff that I need to put on shirts <laughs> or mugs. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. <laughs>